hey welcome back to another video here as you can see i'll be doing hair stick around so you can see how it turns out Hey now, hey, happy Friday. I hope you're feeling blessed and refreshed. I'm back again with another one. And today, I am gonna be finally doing something to my head, y'all. I put some twisties in my hair a couple weeks ago. It got nappy. I went and bought me this hair right here. It is about 24 inches. It's pre-stretched. And I got these little crafter racks that I use to separate the hair on. There's my shining gem. And there is my three-way mirror that I'll be using. So, um, I'm going to spend this video giving you guys pretty much a story time. Today's story time is going to consist of how I got to start braiding hair in the first place. Um, it all started for me. I was about 13 or 14 years old. A lot of my friends um, in high school, they used to braid hair. So I always wanted to learn. So back then I had my cousin. Shout out to my big cousin, Nisi. She used to braid my hair all the time and I would ask her, you know, how do you tuck the hair and how do you start the braid and things like that. Well, back then, knotless braids were not a thing. It was only box braids or, you know, the corn rolls to your head. So she would show me little tips and tricks every now and again. And when I was about 14 or 15, I started doing my friend's, my friend's hair. Um, I also used to do my neighbor's hair as well and I used to actually do her hair for free just because I was trying to practice. So another thing back in the day that they did not have was the pre-stretched hair. Nowadays when it comes to doing any type of braids I need the hair to be pre-stretched. I am not good at <laughs> stretching the hair. Now back then I don't know if if it even really mattered because you remember back then all we did was braid down so far and then we take that lighter and burn the ends so we have the ends burnt you know from the the hair so i don't think it being pre-stretched really made a difference but anyway back then i used to braid everybody's hair um most of the time for free and then once i did really start making money it wasn't a lot of money because again this was back then i was maybe 16 17 People didn't take me seriously. I was probably doing singles for like 40 bucks. Um, nowadays, you know, if you go to an African or a professional, singles are gonna cost you 200 something dollars. <laughs> but I do have um, a couple clients nowadays, one of which is a child, and I only charge $50 for her some skinny knotless braid. So it's not expensive, but um, it keeps me occupied and it keeps me getting better every time I try. So you guys probably heard me say before that I don't have many stories. My life is not very interesting, honestly. <laughs> but when I do think of, you know, what to share with y'all, I hope that you appreciate it. So please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this story. Like I said, it's nothing fun. It's just how I got started braiding hair. So now, as you can see here, I've already started braiding the hair in. Uh, man, this is a process, especially with them being so tiny. Um, but what I'm learning is I'm getting better every time. I really just started doing my own hair maybe a couple years ago around the pandemic time. Um, the year after the pandemic is when I had my daughter and I wasn't wanting to go to the shop to spend extra money. I'm like, I got a newborn. I need to save this money, right? So at that time is when I really started letting my older daughter have weave, you know, added hair in her head. Um, and that's what really started giving me the practice. So after playing with her hair all the time, I'm like, I can do this myself. So that's how I got to doing my hair today. The majority of the time we like to have twisties in our hair, me and my oldest, just because it retains moisture and it also grows your hair so, so fast. I'm going to actually give you a couple tips that you might not know. Dirty hair is good hair. Now, when I say dirty, I don't mean like caked up um, the brown gel that we used to use or the caked up edge control. Now, that's different. But I mean, as far as, you know, letting your hair breathe, putting your hair in some twisties or um, even a protective style and just not washing it for two months or three months, you'll be surprised how much your hair grows. Now, even in a, about a three month period, 
sometimes most of the time I go maybe two months within a two month period when it is time for me to wash my hair okay most of the time I'm not using shampoo I'm using conditioner that's what you call a co-wash it's gonna retain the moisture in your hair and it's gonna cleanse your scalp just enough so that you can make it through probably another month or two but when I do use shampoo it's mm, maybe every three months or so is when I really use shampoo and I just use about a quarter size in the palm of my hand and I scrub my scalp I don't let this shampoo touch my ends because then that's going to strip your hair of the moisture that you work so hard to retain so that's just a little tip for y'all anyway here is uh just a couple days later I am doing well I got about the half of the back done and then I'm going to put this blue in right in the front, as I'm saying right here. So I'm actually still working on this. That's why this is called part one, because there will be a part two once I'm finally finished. So, you know, in the, in the meantime, in between time of me doing my own hair, I'm doing my girls' hair. So when I do my three-year-old's hair, I try to keep her hair braided um, so that it lasts probably about two weeks. But if the braids are thicker, it'll probably last about a week. But either way, um, I like to use my blue, blue magic, and I just saturate their hair with that. And then I brush it through and brush it through, and then I braid it up so that all that moisture, when I go take those braids down, their hair is still very, very moisturized. Now, the older daughter of mine, she loves single braids. So all the time, at least once a month, we're taking out braids, we're cleansing her hair, we're, you know, re-moisturizing her hair, and we're putting those single braids back in. So, ultimately, hair is always a job here. Every two months, or sorry, every two weeks to a month, I'm doing somebody's hair. With all that being said, I do want to share with you guys that I have an ultimate goal. Um, hair is now my passion, and I want to go and pursue my dream of getting my cosmetology license so come on 2023 um, i am ready to jump into this thing full force i'm ready to get this school thing started and done i'm ready to learn so so much but ultimately i'm going to specialize in natural hair and protective styles and kids styles so right along with my weight loss journey that you've seen me on, I haven't been posting my shorts, but I'm still working on that. Right along with my weight loss journey, my next goal is to complete this cosmetology journey. So I'm going to be bringing that to my platform and I appreciate you guys so much for all of your support. You know, as I continue to go forward, if you got any ideas, any tips, any tricks, or anything like that that's gonna help me get done with my goal, please let me know. Um, your feedback is welcome. Opinions matter too, but more so for the feedback, not so the opinion. <laughs> you see, when you got your mind made up about what you wanna do, all you do is put a plan into action and do it. And anything else that anybody else has to say is just clouding your vision. So here I am showing you that I got half done they're pretty long too all right thank you so much for joining me stay humble stay encouraged stay you that's it that's all as always remember be true to yourself because if you can't be true to yourself you can't be true to nobody else bye, -bye. Oh, i forgot to mention did you like the video even if you didn't like the video give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down it helps either way